So we'd like to show that in this question, we have a eigenvector in E lambda. So this means that T of V equals lambda V. We would like to show that F of T of V equals F lambda times. We're going to use three ideas with it. One, T to the N of V equals lambda to the N of V. We're going to use the fact that um, T, and this is true for all N greater than or equal to one, T of zero of V equals the identity applied to V, which equals V, which equals lambda to the zero of V. And then we're going to use the definition of the sum of linear trans transformations and the definition of the sum of linear transformations. We're going to use some other properties as well, but those are the main three ideas that if you're not quite convinced that they're true or you're interested in figuring how to prove these statements, that's definitely a good exercise. Uh, to justify these to yourselves so or review them. Uh, but now we're going to look at f of t of v. Well, this equals the sum. To understand what this equals, well, f of x equals the, the sum of i equaling 1, 0 to 2 of a i x to the i. Or this is going to be a two t squared plus a one t plus a zero applied to v, which is going to equal a zero times the identity applied to v, which equals a squared t squared of v plus a one T of V plus A zero I of V by definition of linear of, of the addition of linear transformations. And why does it go up to two? It goes up to two because we're in polynomials of degree at most two. Well, this is going to equal a two t of lambda v plus a one lambda v plus a naught v, which equals a two lambda t of v plus a one lambda v plus a naught v, which equals a two lambda squared v plus a one v plus a naught v, which equals a two lambda two plus a one lambda plus a naught times v, which equals f lambda of v. As we can see, V satisfies the definition of being an eigenvalue of F of T of V with eigen uh, or eigenvector of F T of V with eigenvalue F of lambda. Now we're going to look at, given two vectors, find the orthogonal complement and find the orthogonal complement of the orthogonal complement, or W perp and W W perp. Now, remember, W perp means that 
uh, the inner product of x with p equals zero. It's the set of x in R4 such that x with v equals zero for all v in w. So to solve for this, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a system of equations. It's going to be the inner product of x with 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 0, and the inner product of x with 1, 0, 0, 0 equals 0. What this gives us is this gives us x1, 1, x2, plus x2, 2 plus x3, 3 plus x4, 4 equals 0. And this gives us that x1, 1 plus x2, 0 plus x3, 0 plus x4, 0 equals 0, which gives us the equivalent system of equations of 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 0 with 0. Now we're going to solve for the vectors x1, x2, x3, x4. I'm going to solve for a basis of those vectors. So I'm going to do r2 minus r1, replacing r2, giving us 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 0. And now R1 plus R2 replacing R1 gives us 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 0. And then 1 over negative 2 R2 replacing R2. Gives us one zero 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 one three over two two equaling zero. From here, what we can see is we have two basic variables, v one and v two, and we have two free variables, v three or x one x2 and x3 and x4. And if we solve this, what we'll get is we'll get w perp equals the span of the set of vectors one or zero. <laughs> So what we'll see is we'll see that x1 equals 0, x3 equals s, which is an element of the real, x4 equals t, which is an element of the real, x2 equals minus 3 over 2s minus 2t. So x in w perp, then x equals 0 minus 3 by 2 s minus 2 t s t, which equals s 0 minus 3 by 2 1 0 plus t, 0, minus 2, 0, 1. And to make it look nicer, x equals s over 2, 0, minus 3, 2, 0, plus 0, minus 2, 0, 1. Therefore, w perp equals the span of the set of vectors. 0, minus 3, 2, 0, and 0, minus 2, 0, 1. Now to calculate W perp of W, 
uh, the orthogonal complement of W perp. I'm going to do the exact same process. And what you'll find is you'll find W, w perp of perp equals the span of the set of vectors 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 2, 3. Notice that if you do it using these as your basis vectors, you'll actually get the span of 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 2, 3, 4. So slightly different, um, but you can see if we add 1, 0, 0, 0 to this vector, we get the same span as we did before. And it's done using a very similar way. I haven't justified it in my steps here, but you can see the process that I went through.